Today we will discuss the continuation of chapter 13 of standard 10. Now today we will discuss about magnetic field due to a current through a circular loop. We have already discussed that is the magnetic field due to a current through a straight conductor, straight wire. Now suppose if the straight wire is bent in the form of a loop like this, how the magnetic field is produced. You can see over here, the end of the wire you can see the concentric circles. As it moves away from that, the wire, the conducting wire, it becomes, a uh, arc becomes larger and at the center, it becomes a straight line. That is the magnetic field which is decreasing. That magnetic field is maximum that is at the conducting wire. Now this conduct the magnetic field which is produced in this a conducting wire that depends upon the that is current passing through it. Now the number of turns of the coil, this number of turns of this loop, if it is increased, then the current which is produced, that is number of turns when it is increased in this, then magnetic field will be n times larger than that of the single term. This is because the current passing through each that coil, that is each conductor, that each loop that moves in the same direction and it is added to the magnetic field. Now, like you can see over here in another experiment, there is a cardboard. In this cardboard, that is, that is another circular loop is inserted and it is connected with a battery and a key. Now, add some iron filings on this, this cardboard. Now, press the key so that electricity will pass at that time and tap this cardboard. You can see a concentric circles at the end of this that is at the edge of this conducting wire, the concentric circles that forms the, uh, this iron filings. Now, let us discuss about the uh, solenoid. Now, what does mean by a solenoid? There will be a cylindrical core that is made up of soft iron in which that is copper wire is wound over it, which is called the solenoid. That is, in that cylindrical core which is made up of soft iron in which the copper wire is wound over it. And this solenoid can become a temporary magnet when it is connected with a battery and a key. Now when the key is pressed, when electricity is passed, this acts as a, a magnet which is called electromagnet. And it can attract the iron pieces. Now the peculiarity of this electromagnet is that it is a temporary magnet. When electricity it loses its electric current, it loses its magnetic property. That is the peculiarity of electromagnet. Why? When electricity is passed, it acts as a magnet. When it loses its electric power, then it loses its magnetic property. Now we will discuss another experiment. This is another experiment that is force on a current carrying the conductor in a magnetic field. Now you can see this diagram. There is a stand over here. This is an aluminium metal. That aluminium strip which is made, made up of aluminium. That strip is uh, hanged horizontal. That is you can see over here. It is hanged vertically with the help of a conducting wire. That is two conducting wires are that has helped to hang this in a stand. Now you can see a horseshoe shaped magnet over here and this north pole is down and south pole which is attached with this uh, that is aluminium rod. This aluminium rod which is hanging over here and which is in turn connected with the battery and a key. Now when you press this key electricity will pass through it. In that case, force will be produced and then this will move, that is this rod which is hang over here, which will move to the left hand side. When you reverse the current, it moves to the right hand side. That is, there is an aluminium rod which is hanged with a conducting wire over here, which is connected with a battery and a key. And there is a horseshoe shaped magnet, which in case, that is, South and north. North is at the bottom and south.
south at the top which is attached with this rod and when this electricity is passed this rod moves left hand side when the current is reversed it moves to the right hand side that means by passing this electricity and the magnetic field with the help of this magnet force acts on it now this direction of this that is the force magnetic field and the current can be explained by fleming's left hand rule that is fleming's left hand rule states that that is if you keep the left hand like this that is the thumb four finger and the middle finger this thumb four finger and the middle finger the direction can be explained that thumb that is the direction that is the force which is acting the motion of the conductor which force applied for the motion of the conductor can be explained by the thumb and this four finger that gives the direction of the magnetic field and the middle finger shows the direction of the current which that is the, called the fleming's left hand rule and this fleming's left hand rule states that it is if you keep your left hand like this that you can see that is the motion of that is the conductor and the free magnetic field and the current can be explained the motion of the conductor along with the that is the thumb the direction will be along with the thumb and the four finger that shows the direction of the magnetic field and the middle finger shows the direction of the current now let us discuss about the domestic electric circuit now at home we are using this electric uh, connections that is the main supply that is from the electric pole or that can be underground cable now this electric current what we get that is from the main supply and this there are two different type of circuits are there that is high power rating that is 15 ampere 15 ampere geyser air cooler all these things for 15 ampere that is used and 5 ampere rating which is used for the bulbs fan etc now there are three different types of that is wire which is color code wire which is used for earthing green color is used that is for earthing green and live wire red and neutral wire black that is the three color code with insulations that is the insulation which is used in the conducting wire that is earthing wire green live wire red and neutral neutral wire black now what is earthing now suppose for example we are using this uh, or oh, electric ion and all that is that appliance we keep that person comes in contact with that so in case any leakage if it is there that is that person gets electric shock so in order to avoid that that is metal plate that is metal plate which is connected which will be buried under the soil and so that if there is any leakage and that person will handling that appliance will not get electric shock that electrons will flow deep down in the soil now let us discuss about the fuse wire now for fuse wire what purpose the fuse wire is used fuse wire which is made up of an alloy of tin and lead the peculiarity of this metal is that it is having low melting point the melting point is very low now there is if there is a overloading and short circuit there is excess flow of current takes place and the appliance will get spoiled and the person who is handling the appliance also will get electric shock so in order to avoid that that is fuse wire is used when excess flow of current due to short circuit now what is short circuit when live wire and neutral wire when it comes in contact each other then excess flow of current takes place that is called short circuit the resistance will become zero and more current will flows and that is called the short circuit and overloading overloading at a time that is many appliances are connected in one socket and more excess of current will flows that is called overloading so overloading and short circuit can causes that is uh, creates trouble in the appliances so in order to avoid that fuse wire is used fuse wire which is made up of an alloy of tin and lead it melts and breaks the circuit so that the person who is handling this apparatus will not get electric shock and the appliances also will be saved